What is going on? Welcome to the Michael Krug Podcast Show. Today is Monday, May 20th. It's about 7.30 p.m. Not going to lie, I got up at 4 a.m. this morning, which is not normal for me. I'm usually like a 6 a.m. riser, uh, but it was just a full day. I had a lot to do, had a lot to get done, so I did want to come on here quick. I've been meaning to make this episode for a couple days, uh, and it's just going gonna, gonna to have to flow out of me because I don't have any notes to go off of. Uh, and I'm going to talk about why spring is a wonderful time. I would argue probably the best time to start to take your health seriously, to develop a fitness routine, to be strategic with nutrition, to think about all the things that I talk about on a regular basis, and why spring is a great time to start to make change with your health. And again, I don't have any notes. Usually I have notes that I go off of. This is just off the cusp. Uh, it's probably going to be a relatively quick episode, but there's really, I mean, it's pretty straightforward and simple, right? When you think about when people want to make change, there is obviously within the culture, there is a lot of energy around the new year, January 1st, New Year's resolutions, new year, new me, all of these things come up year in and year out. And it's great. I think it's 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 important to have those kind of external things that motivate you to start to make change, to start to take your health seriously or whatever it may be. It doesn't have to just be health. It could be finances, career, whatever it is that you're making change around. But when it comes to fitness and nutrition, spring is the best time of year for a couple different reasons. So number one, the big one. So I live in Minnesota, if you didn't know that. And as long as you're in the Northern Hemisphere, and as far as I know, listeners here, I'm pretty sure all of us are in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, If you're in Aussie, I guess, let me know. But the sun is shining. It was close to 80 80 degrees both days over the weekend here in Minnesota. And um, trying to make a change when the weather is nice and when you can get outside and move your body outside is way easier than doing it in the winter when it's negative 20 degrees and it's cold and there's ice everywhere. And it's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, we as human beings, we run in the circadian rhythm with the sun and we also run with the seasons. We have seasonal cycles that we go through every year. Our energy oftentimes in the winter is lower. It's, you know, a time of quote unquote hibernation or slowing down. Um, A great time for reflection, but when it comes to establishing a fitness routine, you know, and again, I don't think this is actually a conspiracy theory, but I feel like the New Year's time is, is a proponent of, it's a huge time for the fitness industry, right? Most fitness influencers and other fitness coaches make a lot of their money. They get a lot of their clients in the new year, and I myself do as well. Um, but because there is that cultural expectation where it's the change of the year, it's time to make changes to health. And it's just not the most realistic for most people. I mean, when you're, um, you know, you have to confide to your house more hours of the day than not. When it's cold outside, it hurts your face to go outside. When it gets dark at 5 p.m., it doesn't really make a ton of sense to try and make massive changes to your health, especially because we know one of the absolute best things that you can do for your health day in and day out is just to get outside and move your body outside. So that's one of the big reasons. Another one that people don't think about as much is when it comes to eating healthy, what do we think of, right? We think of fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, lean meats, whole real foods. You know, like I've said it before, um, Jeremy Scott says it all the time. If it runs, flies, swims, or grows from the ground, it's probably good to go. And we can just get a lot more fresh food, locally grown food. It tastes better. It hasn't been sitting in a freezer or a cooler at, you know, with different different things on it to keep it preserved for a time. So um, it's much easier to get access to fresh, uh, whole, real foods this time of year as well. So um, those are the two big ones. Fitness and nutrition are by nature easier things to commit to in the spring. And then another one too is if you think about spring, right? I'm looking outside my window here. I've got a beautiful maple tree. We just planted a white pine tree. We got a couple ash trees taken out because they died, unfortunately. But all the trees are bloomed. There's leaves. Like it is a time of growth, not just for us as human beings, but for the for the entire planet. Um, springtime is a time when there is this energy and there's like a renewal revival type energy. There's newfound energy, right? This, I mean, the sun is still out and it's 7.30 p.m. It's probably going to be out for an hour. I'm going to go for a ruck after this and the sun will probably be out until after I get home. So all of these things add up to make spring a wonderful time of year for us to make change. So again, if you are someone who Maybe you set big aspirations this year around New Year's time. You had some New Year's resolutions. Maybe you've fallen off. Now is the perfect time to get back on track because 
literally the environment and the planet and the sun is all going to conspire for you to help you make these changes, not only for this season, but the idea is to build momentum going into next winter and then for the rest of your life, right? You all know I'm all about sustainability. So that's what I wanted to share. Um, also, I wanted to really quick share. So today is Monday, May 20th. I don't know if I'll get this published tonight, but by, for sure by tomorrow. So Tuesday, May 21st, I am launching my spring health challenge. Again, it's a wonderful time to really hone in on these skills, to, to work on your habits, your behaviors, your mindset, the psychology behind making these things last long term. And that launches tonight or tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you're looking for a spark, if you're looking for that, you know, for an external form of structure that's going to help you internally make some change that you can commit to long term, I think the spring health challenge would be a great option for you. Again, if you want info, I'll put the link to get registered in the show notes here. Uh, and besides that, you know, whether you sign up or not, just know that this is a time of year to leverage, right? So don't sit inside all day. Don't sit on your ass, right? Bring your ass, as Anna Edwards just said to say, uh, bring, your, bring your ass outside, okay? Dude, I've said that phrase like 100 times today. I'm going to keep saying it for a while. So again, Spring Health Challenge starts tomorrow. Whether you do it or not, let's start to make change now. I personally am going to go into a more intense phase of training myself. Uh, and let's get after it, right? The 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 stars are aligned, so to say. So that's it. Quick one today. Um, again, if you listen, I appreciate if you can like and subscribe wherever you're listening. Again, still currently just on YouTube, but we'll get on Spotify and iTunes over the summer once I get that set up. Uh, and I appreciate you. If you spent any amount of time listening, again, um, I just I appreciate when people listen, give me feedback or not, because you know I, I have a passion for this stuff and I really want to change the health of humanity. That's my my long term vision and mission. So. That's it for today. Quick one. I hope you're well. And as always, keep inspiring. I'll see you next time.